Hello. Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. We've got a new episode today focusing on our Photoshop series. Uh, we've had a uh, number of pictures that we've been working with. The uh, Statue of Liberty has been among them. And we've been working with our quick selection tool, lasso tool, um, free transforming, and doing a number of basic skills here. And today um, we made some mistakes cutting things out. And I'm going to show you how we can clean some of that up very quickly. Um, just to make it a little bit more of a clean cut and uh, give you some sharp edges that you uh, that that'll make it look better. So the first thing that we're going to look at is a tool called the polygonal lasso. I've got um, the tips of the spikes here on her headdress, um, basically covered with blue around the outside. You can see a little bit on this tip as well. And um, I want to get rid of that nice and clean with a good line. I could use the eraser and go in here, but it'd be tedious and it'd be possibly a, a squiggly line that I'd end up with. So I'm going to go about um, cleaning this up with a nice, clean, straight line. Over on the left-hand side here in the toolbar, third tool down, is something called the polygonal lasso. Now, if you're not seeing that tool there, it happens to be on the lasso tool. Just hold your button down, and you've got a whole bunch of different tools that are in there. We'll get to the magnetic lasso in time here. Polygonal lasso, though, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And now the way this works is kind of like connecting the dots. I'm going to go ahead and click, and it's just going to start connecting everything I click on. So very carefully, I'm going to go around the spike here. And you can see it makes nice straight lines. And the one disadvantage to the polygonal lasso is anything that I want to cut out, I do have to make a complete circle. So I always have to end back where we started. And when you get back to the beginning, just to show you that again, um, when you get back to the start of wherever you are, you get this little circle that kind of connects it up. So we'll very quickly select this again. It's nice and easy. And there it is. There's the circle. Boom. All right. So now that's all selected. And I can go ahead and just hit delete and cut the blue out of there. So that cleans it up nice and neatly there. All right. So I can go ahead and continue to do that around the rest of the spikes here, getting rid of that little blue film that's on the edge here. If I zoom in, you'd see that, yeah, there's blue all around here. Uh, that'd be uh, that'd be a very tedious process to go along and clean up all this, but as I zoom in, um, I'm noticing some other things that accidentally got selected that I want to fix. For instance, I've got a whole segment of her spike missing here, which is a problem. Um, I've deleted it. Um, I can't go back. Um, it's something that I realized after the fact, and now I have to make kind of a quick fix on it. And um, here's the new tool that I wanted to show you that would actually fix that. So I've got what's called the cloning stamp, and I can click on that. And right now it looks just like any other brush here, but if I hold down the Alt key, I get a target. The nice thing about the target is I can pick somewhere that I want to copy, and it's going to copy that spot onto my new spot. So in essence, I can duplicate part of her spike from somewhere else into that area. Now, a few things that I want you to look at before you get going here, targeting and clicking, go up to the brush itself that you're using. Try to avoid a really hard edged brush like this because it's going to make really hard lines on your um, on the canvas. So make sure you pick something that's a little bit more fanned out and feathered at the edges. And then the hardness of it, you can set down quite a bit. You're going to need a little bit of pressure on there just to make it work. And then you should be good. Now if I go ahead and click Alt, I can target this area. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that in here. Okay, And it's good to retarget frequently so that you're getting a good mix of colors that are representative of whatever it is that you're copying. And there we have it. We got the spike filled right back in there. Colors match up. We zoom out. You never even know that's missing there. I could fill in that line a little bit along there, but you get the idea of how that works. Here's another example of how you could use the uh, clone uh, stamp. Here's the picture of the horse that we've been working with the last couple days. And I've got to take it. I cut it out. You can see it's a little bit faded here because the refined edge ate away at a little bit of it. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my horse now that I've got everything else cut out of there. And duplicate it again. And we get that all filled back in, which looks nice and neat. 
I'm going to go ahead and take the three layers that I duplicated now, and I'm going to merge them together. Um, everything is all set up the way that I want. I like the way that it looks. If I merge these together, it's like working with one layer all over again. So I merge those, and now at this point, we're going to use our clone stamp. You can see the clone stamp has still got the uh, previous setting on it. You can see the color from the Statue of Liberty there. Now, one of the areas that a lot of people have been asking about is, you know, I've got these hooves. He was standing in grass previous to this, and I want to get it so that, I don't know, he's standing in a completely different area. Now, this one we only have to worry a little bit on, so we'll start there. And what I'm going to do once again is I'm going to hold Alt. I'm on the clone stamp over here. Okay, and it looks just like an old stamper. And I'm going to select one of the areas on his hoof that I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to move over and fill that in. Now, while I'm here also, we go ahead and grab the polygonal lasso. And we just get this cleaned up so it's nice clean edges all the way around here. Clicking frequently, but not too close together. If you accidentally double-click, it'll complete the selection for you. That is very frustrating when that happens, but... There we go. We move around, and voila, we got that cut. Now, you can still see on the edges that there's a little bit of green. That's where I go in and I fix that up with the tool. I'm going to deselect this area, though. You can always, to deselect things, you can pick another selection tool and just click on the screen, or you can right-click and go deselect as well. So if I right-click there, when it's something selected, it'll give me the opportunity to deselect. So, I'll um, go ahead and grab my clone stamp, and I'm going to go ahead and shrink the brush size down a little bit here so it's not too painfully obvious. We're going to grab something that looks very similar to the edge, and I'm going to paint that in there. And then I'm going to target over here, and I'm going to paint this part in too, get that green taken care of. Nice. Okay, now we've got this part, which is definitely more of an issue here. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of his lower leg here. Get that filled in. We can go ahead and target again. Get this part in here. And we're going to retarget. Always targeting, grabbing the different colors that are here so that it's not just one color because it becomes obvious then that you've been, you know, painting in. Be careful that your the plus sign stays where it is. So that's one of the things that you have to watch is when you're moving that plus sign, I'm going to run out of real estate here, and it's going to be off the horse, and then I'm going to have nothing to actually copy. So I'm very careful to grab just that area. And this one's going to be a little bit more tricky. Retarget. Get that filled in there. Target up a little bit higher. And just little by little get this filled in okay and I'm gonna have to use some artistic judgment here on where that hoof goes across let's grab over a little bit further get a little bit darker colored mix that in there okay and now I start working out to the edges of the hoof and I would keep doing this and at the end once I fill it all in I'm again gonna grab my polygonal lasso and clean it all up I'm gonna spare you the time that it takes me to do that and um, yeah that's our tutorial for today so working with the polygonal lasso just to get some harder edges and things and then uh, the clone stamp tool to fill things in where there's mistakes okay thank you for joining us but another episode of Red Hawk Media Bye. Oh, my God.